TypeScript vs JavaScript A quick explanation on the pros and cons of using TypeScript TypeScript, being a superset of JavaScript, means that all, of, all additions sit on top of JavaScript, which means that anything that can be done in JavaScript can be done in TypeScript. Um, this does, however, have some disadvantages. TypeScript is not natively supported in any browser, so a build step is required in order to use it which if you already are using a build step in the build process, such as Webpack or Parcel or Rollup, that might not be a big deal, but if you aren't, that could be an extra problem. In order to properly use TypeScript uh, with existing JavaScript libraries, you need the definitions, typing definitions. Um, you can turn off a lot of the uh, strict typing checks, but then you'll lose a lot of the benefits of using TypeScript instead of just using JavaScript if you aren't using the types anyway in order to use TypeScript libraries that don't have types. Thankfully, there is a pretty big community behind this, which means there are a lot of libraries that do have support and adding in your own types on top if you want to do that isn't that hard, but it could be easier. Um, you are relying on another entity on top of the ECMA, who are the group, the organization who defines the standard for the library, uh, the, the standard for JavaScript. Um, which means that if new, li uh, new language updates, such as a null check, a special null check that question mark operator comes in, and TypeScript doesn't support it, the TypeScript compiler won't give you access to that feature, even though it, can, it exists there in JavaScript. Uh, Microsoft is, has usually been pretty good at being on top of this, though. Um, Somewhat subjectively, this ad TypeScript adds visual clutter with addition, just in general, additional text on the screen, um, as well as additional files sometimes just for hold, storing all of your interface types and your type types and all sorts of extra code that is only used by the compiler. It's not actually used, it's not actually part of the runtime. Um, that can be a problem for some people, it makes, can make some code harder to follow in, that, in those cases. Um, and this is a pro and a con, but the type checking is only done at build time, which means if you've created some interface, especially for external, uh, like an external JSON blob, and you said that the JSON blob contains these properties that are of this type, and then all of your code assumes that that is all correct, but then the JSON blob comes in and it's not that at all, um, TypeScript won't save you from that, certainly not at runtime. Um, but now let's have a look at some of the advantages. Types allow for more self-documenting code. When you have a function that takes four arguments and the names are maybe somewhat ambiguous, um, typing allows you to make sure that you know that like name is a string and age is a number. Um, or if you're dealing with some particular use case where age is actually a string because it's got, you know, 25 years is the age you at least know that something is up when the age has been defined as a string and not as a number. Whereas in JavaScript, you wouldn't necessarily have that bit of extra information. Of course, if you actually put in comments in your code and it's well documented, this may not be a problem in the first place. However, that also doesn't necessarily happen. Uh, you can remove, remove code that seems unused with much more confidence. Uh, even if you're not using, say, an IDE that supports TypeScript, and will already tell you whether or not something is unused. Um, if you delete some code that seems unused and you then try to compile it in TypeScript, it will complain. It will say that this code no longer compiles and no longer works. Um, this won't necessarily work for code that is like looked up through a string. If you're trying to look up like, yeah, if you're trying to do something like a bit like, uh, ref like kind of like using reflection but not quite reflection in JavaScript. Um, they won't save you from that. But in general, if, that's not a very common pattern these days. So in general, it will save you from those sorts of things. And you can delete code with confidence knowing that if it's not complaining, it probably wasn't in use. Um, this is the flip side of the types checking only being done at build time is that it then means there's no extra run overhead at runtime. So all of your type checking is done once on build and then the final JavaScript that's outputted is usually pretty efficient. It's usually not that different from, well, the, the TypeScript that you already wrote. It's just basically all the types removed and you now are just left with the plain JavaScript. Uh, there are some things where you can specify the, the version of JavaScript 
uh, so you can computer is going to sleep specify the version of the JavaScript that you want it to support um, which means certain features may get turned into perhaps less uh, less elegant versions of JavaScript because it's trying to support an old version of JavaScript but in general that's pretty minor uh, anyway that's my advantages and disadvantages of JavaScript versus TypeScript and in general I am in favor of TypeScript okay